My 2000 model Kobelco excavator has a Yanmar 3TN 100L series motor in it. And that diesel was really smoking, a lot of blue smoke, but it wasn't burning any oil. So I cleaned out the injectors and it made a world of difference. Here's a video of how I did that. Okay, to get the injectors out, you know, take those two nuts off and you pull off this plate. <clears throat> pull that plate off. And then I will uh, thread one of these back on temporarily. So maybe. And then you can use your screwdriver in here to wedge it up out of there. Okay, when you pull your injectors, you want to get them from looking like this. This one's just been pulled. You can see the holes in the end there, but still not sure how good it's spraying. The idea, the trick is to get them that, that clean. See the little holes. Okay, these two didn't have this on it. But on this one, we have to pull that off first. Now I can get my socket on there. I got a vise over here with my 12 millimeter in it. Put that in there like that and then use your socket to pull that out. Okay, only one of my injectors had this little ceiling gasket on it. So that pulled off. This one's really stuck. I soaked it in um, liquid wrench overnight and I still had to heat it up. Then in a vise, I clamped a 12 millimeter wrench to this. Then I had, had to heat this up and use an impact wrench to finally break this one off. The rest came off pretty easy. But once it comes off, Got this, this piece, the injector, injection nozzles are in there. This comes out. There's only two pins in there because the pins only go in the bigger holes. That hole is smaller. The actual diesel is injected out that hole and then return goes back up this way. So. You can't mess that up. Pins are in the bigger holes. Oh, and that comes out. You got a spring in there, and then this one had a little shim. Only two of mine had that shim in there. So I don't know if you can see, but yeah, two of those holes are, these two holes are bigger, and the diesel comes out goes in here and out this hole to the injector into the smaller hole of this one. So yeah, just clean that all up, put it back together. I don't know if you could put anti-seize on there to keep the threads clean. And this thing was really rusted into the blocks. The other ones weren't. This one's been in there a long time. And yeah, just put it back together after you clean it up. And then after I get the injector all apart, I uh, take a piece of wire out of a wire brush like this. I got a magnifying glass here for uh, soldering, but then you can see the little holes and I make sure you can get that wire into each one of those little holes. It's really hard to see the holes in here. 
Let's try this. Yeah, you need to put a wire through each one of those holes. And then I blow it out with air first this way, blowing debris out, and then make sure I can blow air through it this way. So going back together, got the actual body. Put your shim in there. And your spring. And this little check valve. Make sure it's flush. Remember the pin won't go in that small hole. It'll only go in the two big holes. So you only have two pins. Again, two big holes in this. So they line up the pin. This needle. Slide, slide in there nice and free. Two big holes again in this one. Go snug it up in the vise, and then uh, this gasket will go back on. Get that all back together. If um, you can adjust how much diesel these injectors get by rotating these. Rotating that way is minimal diesel. At least I think it is because it doesn't run very good. So I'm assuming this way is max diesel. But I think that's what led me with the problem with fouled injectors. So I'm going to put these back to right, right in the middle. Like so. And now with everything all back together, she's running better than ever with very minimal smoke. I hope this can help somebody.